It's the hottest dish in the streets. It's what everyone's talking about on Facebook. Twitters and Facebooks and all that stuff. It's time for Big Tigger's Trending Topics. On V103. Time for the Trending Topics. 411 and all your favorite folks. Me and Powered by 1 800 Hurt 911. This happens to be the Love and Marriage Edition. So, Gerard. Yeah. In your first five marriages, did you come across any of this stuff? In my first five marriages, I'll let you know when I had the first one. How about that? Alan thinks widow. You know, Robin thinks dad. Right. His wife. Alan thinks widow. Thinks Robin and his brother are doing the wrong thing. Robin and Brennan are going after Alan Thick, their dad, and his ranch, the dad's property. They're trying to get it from the widow, Tanya. They filed legal documents in Allen's probate case claiming Tanya threatened to go to the tabloids and trash them if they don't give her what she wanted from Allen's estate. But Tanya's lawyer told TMZ the sons are making up false claims to smear her because she won't let Robin and Brennan convert the family ranch into a massive marijuana farm. What? I okay. want to turn to, it's, I think it's 11 acres. Yeah, but that sounds like it's something missing from that story, though. Like, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me as to why. They would even try that. Apparently, Alan, Alan, the dad, left things a little confusing. There's a prenup. Right. Alan's son claims Tanya, the widow, wants to challenge it. But Alea is saying, no, she's fine with the prenup. It gives her 25% interest in the ranch. Okay. Alan also created a trust which allows the widow to live out her entire life on the property. Right. The boy's saying, uh, nah, son. This, she's saying that they're dishonoring him. Allen, who would never have allowed them to make a marijuana business on the property, 11 acres near Santa Barbara. And within me, I agree. I so? Yeah, I don't see how if if Mr. Thick left all that to her, he did it for a reason. He must have had trust and love for her. So I don't think that he wanted sons to do that neither. But the weed be knowing. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. Next up, <laughs> did you hear about uh, Steve Harvey's ex-wife, his Second ex-wife. Mm-mm. She's suing for $60 million. Can I tell you why she's please, suing? Please tell us why. Okay, now mind you, they've been divorced 12 years. Okay. 12. She alleges she's been suicidal, resorted to self-medicating in an effort to handle the aftermath of their highly publicized and highly contentious divorce. She's suing Steve for a lengthy list of things which include child endangerment, torture, conspiracy against rights, intentional infliction of emotional distress, Breach of contract and soul murder. AKA, she ain't got no job and she got some bills that's late. That's what that is. But what the hell is soul murder? Who, not, nothing. Well, let me tell you. Soul murder is achieved by a combination of torture, deprivation, and brainwashing. So it took 12 years to find out that she was going through this? Soul murder. Mm-hmm. All right. I don't know how this is going to work out, but she's got a lawyer. She did a whole video at TMZ. More Big Ticket Show next on V103.